second question. So um, I'm dry firing with my pistol. I'm drawing from the holster and going out to extension and firing. So when I get to the point of diminishing returns, which is pretty quick for me, so do I just slow it down or just put it away and wait and just practice again the next day? You change it up. In other words, don't do the same repetitive motion, like yeah. just stand, standing still and drawing and dry firing, but change yeah. it up. Step to the right, step to the left, a turn. Okay. You okay. know, throw those things in there. Not okay. that you're going to have to do that, you know, in uh, like any type of competition. I don't know if, right. you know, if this is for training for your competition, some kind of precision stuff, or you're just training for you, more like just for you, right? Yeah, you just for me right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah ch change it up. For instance, uh, take three steps and move behind cover. You okay. Know, so, so start your draw, take three steps behind cover and dry fire. So instead of doing the same thing over and over, because that'll become mundane in what, five minutes? Right. Max, right. Five minutes, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Change it up and also do that thing. I think I put it on the, um, I know I did on the Patreon site, a short vid on dry fire where I use like a, a visine bottle. Right. And I set that down. Have you seen that one? And then yeah. back yeah. up, back up to where the front site is the same size as that visine bottle. So now okay. your, your presentation has to become more precise because okay. you're not aiming at something this big, but something right. that big. Okay. Um, but just change it up to, to help um, uh, extend the learning curve a little bit more. Because okay. you're probably only good for five minutes. But yep. Okay. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Good luck to you on that too.